On January 8, 1973, Luna 21 was launched with the Lunacod 2 rover on a proton rocket, aiming to land on the moon. The Soviet Union had launched the very successful Lunacod 1 rover to the moon in 1970, and that was the first remote-controlled robotic rover used in space exploration. Both rovers featured flip-open solar panels, a polonium radioisotope thermal generator to heat the rover through the very cold, long lunar nights, eight rover wheels, scientific instruments, and an array of television cameras. Each rover was carried on top of a platform with an extendable ramp that the rover would descend after reaching the surface. The platform was attached to the top of the lander unit, which was Luna 21. The Proton Launcher carried Luna 21 to orbit, after which the Block D stage transferred Luna 21 to the moon. Luna 21 then had fuel to capture into orbit and then land. The mass of Luna 21 in orbit was close to 6 tons, while its dry mass with the rover was about 1.8 tons. Lunacod 2 would set a record for distance traveled, 37 kilometers, until the Opportunity rover beat that record in 2014. After concluding its primary mission, it continued to have an interesting story, as it, along with Luna 21, were sold in 1993 to Richard Garriott, son of astronaut Owen Garriott. Richard Garriott was the developer of the Ultima games. He was a space tourist who went to the International Space Station on Soyuz TMA-13. While treaties prohibit countries from owning space property, nothing prohibits a private citizen from doing so, allowing for Garriott's claim not only to the lander and rover, but potentially to the land they surveyed. Lunacod 2's mirrors are still used to bounce lasers off of to gauge the distance to the moon, as with mirrors placed by the Apollo missions. In 2010, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter photographed the landing site. The white dot denotes the position of the lander, while the black arrow indicates the current position of the rover. The white arrows indicate the path taken by the rover on its journey all the way back in 1973. Thank you for watching Today in Space History for January the 8th.